Dark Lighter with a two-parter. Hey, John and crew. Chris, I told my wife about your pitch idea for the next Muppet movie with Daniel Craig as Benoit Blanc yes. and everyone else played by Muppets. She looked at me and sighed and said, but who would go see it besides you? Uh, her words stung. And I mean, then... I don't want to tell you to get a divorce, buddy. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not saying I advocate divorce. I'm not saying but that your wife is a about monster. It. But, no. Nah. <laughs> There's, there's people who'd see it. If it's just me and you in the theater, bud, we'll have a great time. It's going to be fun. It's grounds for divorce. <laughs> uh, Rick Darklighter says, While I grew up watching all the Muppet films uh, on VHS or taped off TV and reruns of The Muppet Show and Sesame Street growing up, I know it's not uh, easy being green. <laughs> Is the love of Muppet puppeteering gone? What would it take for the magic to come back? That's an entirely separate topic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, to a degree, re- but... What was that damn movie that came out four or five years ago that was like it imagine the world where puppets and humans live side by side oh, there's yeah. a murder history there's a oh. murder it was that gross one too they and it like was really r-rated oh, it forgot. was the happy time murders i'll yeah, tell you happy what that did not get a great response critically no or financially i loved that movie <laughs> i laughed so hard in that movie. I, I mean, then, you know, you've had uh, um, Angel did the whole Muppet episode where they turned into Muppets. And then I think there the was... Boys the, the Boys just recently did it. Yeah. Or Gen V, I should say. Mm, yeah. Just recently did it. I don't know that a big Muppet thing is ever going to have a big have a big resurgence you know what i mean yeah so i don't know what do you think i mean unfortunately there was a really great show that you can watch on disney plus where it's the muppets but in a situational office style show that was hilarious and once they got a second uh, new showrunner on that it really hit its stride but it got canceled and that was so unfortunate because it was a grown-up muppet show that was really fun and had innuendo this? this was maybe six years ago or so that's not the one that josh gad was supposed to be show running was it it could have been. Okay, anyway. But it was a delightful show. Um, but then you also have things on the more serious side of Henson Projects, right? Where you have uh, the Dark Crystal yeah. series that was on Netflix. Oh, God. That was amazing. That won Emmys. That was critically acclaimed. And then they pulled the plug on that. So I feel like there's people who would enjoy certain things because we also, for for the most part, I, I think people like practical effects and things. I think we still have that love, especially if you go look at 1980s films where you go, oh, that effect still holds up because that's practical and that looks cool. Not always the case, but usually. Something like Labyrinth or things like that. I think it, it just needs the right uh, the right story. And, and, oh, the Vector Cave brings up a great point. Fraggle Rock came back. Fraggle Rock that's is doing true. well. That's yeah. And and so maybe it's just there is a younger maybe they're skewing towards younger audiences and there's room for that to be opened up because the Muppets are for everybody. No, I d- I've not seen any of the return of Fraggle Rock yet. I it's watched it a lot as a kid. But is the great trash heap back? Yes. Oh, they did bring yes. back the trash yeah. heap. Okay, well, all right. All right, what's next?